that God is a loving God. And when fear is dismissed, then you are able to be an overcomer. You are able to be a victor. You are able to inherit all what God has in store for you. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, my topic is beware. The reason why my topic is beware this morning is because when you look out in the world in this time, you realize that all things that are good seems as evil. And everything that are evil seems as good. There are so many same-sex marriages, so many transgenders, there are so many transables. These are persons that are born with their senses intact and everything, but yet still they feel as if they should have been born disabled. So they go ahead in amputating their hands, their feet, in blinding themselves and these stuff there's so many wrongs that are put in good light and good things that are shown in bad light in these times there are so many parents that are spearing the rod and spoiling their child which is why there's so much rebellious children so much rebellious youths that are present in this time but Isaiah 5 verse 20 tells us that woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. I'm here to let someone know today that they should open their eyes to see the time open your eyes to discern the time the whole world has turned there has been a drastic change in this time where if one person should scold their child it is seem as if they are doing a wrong thing parents will be locked up if they beat their children this is driving the agenda of the enemy into being because there's because parents have to be spearing the rod for us to get the rebellious nation that the enemy wanted there to be but today i come to you to shine light on your path to let you understand that if we want to inherit the kingdom of God we cannot be deceived by the time we cannot be manipulated by the enemy we cannot think that good is evil and evil is good we cannot think that light is the darkness and darkness is the light we cannot be blinded by the darkness of this time but we have to see through the light of the word first corinthians 6 verse 9 says know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god it continues to say be not deceived brethren brothers and sisters be not deceived by this time do not be deceived in the season of where darkness seem as light do not be deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor effeminate there are persons that are out there that feels as if when you fornicate 
you can still enter into the promised land because God is an understanding God. There are many of the churches out there that are seeing that idolaters will enter, that adulterers will enter, that effeminate will enter into the kingdom of God because God is our loving. But I'm here to tell someone the truth this morning that God is a jealous God and no one should place no other gods before him and in order for us to enter into the kingdom of God we should follow his word which is why Jesus came on this earth to be a guide for our path today nor abusers of themselves with mankind shall enter into the kingdom of God. Verse 10 says, Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Today, we have to beware of the time. We have to beware of everything because the enemy is around as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour and all the enemy is looking for is a loophole. The enemy is looking for a window to be cracked open. The enemy is looking for a path that he can take into your life so that he can blind you, so that he can have your mind captivated and manipulated into his schemes. But I plead the blood of Jesus over your minds. I plead the blood of Jesus over every portal, every doorways of entrance into your life. And I decree and declare that you will not be deceived by the enemy. But you shall see. You shall discern all things in this time. Yes, there are some of us. In verse 11 it says. That are washed. We should be sanctified. And justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God we should be holy and living a holy life will allow us to discern all things will allow us to see that the evil that is happening in this time should be torn down and good should be good and evil should be evil light should be light and darkness darkness there's a scripture that said the enemy will present himself as angels of light and if you are not living the truth if you aren't living the word then you won't understand that the enemy has shown up as a light before you hallelujah you will not realize that the enemy is coming as wolf in sheep clothing you will not realize jesus that there's a snake in the grass to deceive you but today I declare your eyes to be opened so that you can see what the enemy is bringing in the agenda of the enemy in this time Jesus so right now I will be praying and I'm here to just remind someone to continue to live a holy life you are not alone god is with you hold on to the end hold on to the end be steadfast be sober 
be vigilant my children be vigilant wait upon the Lord and be of good courage he will come in due time but remain steadfast remain faithful the other day I was meditating and the word came to me be faithful my children remain faithful for in the twinkling of an eye when I shall appear and all the dead in Christ shall rise and those who are alive and are holy shall be presented before our Lord you shall be purified you shall be tried by fire and purified and placed before the King of Kings and Lord of Lord and then all things of the earth shall turn and after the rupture there will be darkness upon the land full darkness upon the land I'm here to let someone know today to beware of the time and don't be deceived by the agenda of the enemy but cry out to the Lord seek the Lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near lest the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts he will not be able to enter into the kingdom of God I'm here to let you know today to drop off all the things of the world and to let your temple be a temple of holiness let your temple be a temple of God live a life that is pleasing unto him wash be washed this morning with the blood of the lamb in the name of Jesus hallelujah this is all I will say for today open your eyes we declare your eyes to be opened Jesus 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 right now in the mighty name of Jesus I place your people and your children before you oh God there's so many of us oh God that are being deceived by the enemy that have been put oh God in shackles almighty oh God that the bad is good and the good is bad almighty oh father but mighty God we know that when these things begin to happen oh God that redemption draw it nigh almighty oh father oh father we know that when these things begin to happen only a few almighty oh father will realize almighty oh God but right now in the name of Jesus I pray right now, O oh Father God, that you will prick their hearts, Almighty God, so that they are able to see what they are doing, that it is wrong, Almighty God. And the only true way in this time, O oh Father, is to look up to you, Almighty God. The only true way, Almighty Father, <clears throat> is to walk in truth is to walk by your word almighty god for as your word declares that your word should be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path oh god i declare that your truth oh god shall be almighty god a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path your word says O oh God in 1st Corinthians 6 verse 9 that we should be not deceived O oh God even in 1st Thessalonians Almighty God you remind us O oh God 
that we should remain steadfast as your children i pray almighty god across this globe almighty god that persons that are calling upon your name that we will not be discouraged oh god but we will lift up our eyes to the ills from whence cometh our help our help cometh from you who made heaven and earth oh god we will continue oh god in you because you said almighty god that when we lift up our eyes to the ills that you will preserve us from all evil and you will preserve our souls almighty god you will preserve us in our going out and in our coming in almighty father ah oh, jesus almighty god be our shepherd in this time almighty god be our shepherd almighty god so that we will not be led astray by the enemy but we will be led as sheep, almighty god hallelujah jesus i pray right now almighty father that your people will cry out to you O oh god and you shall mark us with your blood almighty father so that the enemy will know that he cannot deceive us that he cannot have our lives almighty god but as job says in your word almighty god that almighty father that though our flesh be destroyed yet with our eyes we will see god for we know that our redeemer live and we know that our redeemer in this time is the true and living god and we know you through the word almighty father i pray right now father that you will cover us under your blood be the edge around your children jesus and have your way almighty god as you anoint us for the journey as you anoint our eyes and our ears oh god to be in tune to your kingdom almighty father have your way jesus have your way king of kings and lord of lords in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.